Hi, fourth grade mathematicians. I'm at the point in my Zern lesson where I'm told to go get my student notes, and I don't have any, so I'm just going to use a blank piece of paper today. And um, I'm going to write down the same problem that they have on their screen, which is 5 times 3 fourths. So 5 times 3 fourths. Now, I am going to break that into unit form first. So to break it into unit form, all I have to do is just say it. So 5 times 3 fourths. 5 times 3 fourths. And now I'm going to associate the 5 and the 3. That's making these friends play together. So I can write that as 5 times 3. And instead of using fourths in written form, I'm going to use fourths in numeric form. Fourths. So this equals, well, 5 times 3 equals 15. And then my denominator stays the same. So it becomes 15 fourths. Now in our class on the whiteboard, I have taught you, and you need to remember, that under every whole number is an invisible number 1. And that when we're multiplying fractions, we multiply straight across the top. 15. 5 times 3 equals 15. And straight across the bottom. 5 times 1 times 4 equals 4. Let's do it one more time. 5 times 3. 5 times 3 equals 15. And 1 times 4. Look, I can just make that one big fraction. Equals 4. Let's do another one. So Zern doesn't have you do any more problems after this on your own. So I'm just going to give you some extra ones that we can keep practicing with. <clears throat> so, let's do 4 times 5 eighths. So the first thing I'm going to do is to write that in unit form. So unit form, I just read it. 4 times 5 eighths. 4 times 5 eighths. And now I'm going to rewrite it as... 5 times 4, and instead of using unit forms with words, I'm going to use numeric form with numbers. So now you can say that this is 4 times 5 equals, 4 times 5 equals 20, and eighths. And in class, we do it on the whiteboard like this, and under every whole number there is a invisible number 1. So we go straight across the top, 20. Straight across the bottom, eighths. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do 8 times 2 fifths. So again, unit form, 8 times 2 fifths. Here we go, 8 times 2 fifths. And we're going to use the associative property and make the 8 and the 2 play together. You have to associate with different friends. So 8 times 2 fifths. 8 times 2 is 16 and fifths. Okay, we're going to take this one step further because soon Zern is going to make you turn this improper fraction into a mixed number. And we need to remember that this little fraction bar actually has a meaning and that it means divides by. Right? That's why that's it looks so similar to a division symbol, right? There's that would be the 16 and that would be the 5. So divided by so 16 divided by 5. Well, 5 goes into 16. 5, 10, 15. Oh, three times with one left over. And we have to write this 1, this remainder 1, as a fraction. So the 1 
goes on the top. And the five goes on the bottom. So not today, but soon you're going to have to write this improper fraction as an answer that's a mixed number. Today this is the extra mile, but it won't be for very much longer. Okay, if you have questions, email me.